to a different audience that doesn't seem radical and um, uh, disruptive of gender norms as they are, which is the way some of the early women's suffrage advocates would have argued for. And what, what Willard says is, we're not going to undo gender relations with the vote, right? We're going to use it for home protection. We're going to use it to elevate and secure those things that gender norms promise us, but that we're currently being deprived of, like men's protection, you know, freedom from men's violence, a safe home. Um, so in many ways, what Wither does is assure a variety of women um, that the vote can actually serve their interests as well, even though their interests are radically different than some other women's interests. Uh, and in that sense, brings along a really massive constituency of women who start to think of voting as compatible with the world as it is, as opposed to voting as overturning the world as it is. I think one of the important matters of what they're able to do in terms of this uh, nexus between rights and obligations is they took mm -hmm. what they did with suffrage was take it and made it not a right but an obligation in order for them to continue what they were expected to do which was to protect society for the whole protection to cleanse and purify and make more moral society that became mm -hmm. the reason that they, they needed to have the vote so it didn't be, it was no longer radical it was part of their whole came under that whole umbrella of obligation in which they had been participating in public life from the very beginning it was very clever <laughs> <laughs> it puts me in mind of the, the the distinction just where the emphasis has lain in the past between means and ends suffrage is an end and and, and lisa your work and and the myth of seneca falls and packaging that whole story as a completed work um the, the work of achieving women's suffrage um versus the, the 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 ends that might go beyond the vote, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking here mm -hmm. too of um, a wonderful quote in your book, Mary Sarah Sleeper, on the more uh. glorious revolution that might be achieved. Mm -hmm.